Everyone knows. Okay. All right. That's fair. So they can't be in a Marvel movie, basically. Uh, Alex has tons of those. I know. I don't know why he's freaking out, Heather. I mean, I know my first pick's going to be Alex. He's a fucking Polish poet. Um, I just want to get an excuse to go eat some sausage. Oh. Some, some sausage. Yeah. Yep. This is going to be tough, I think. I think this is going to be tougher than we think. Because there's oh, yeah. a lot of, like, obviously, I would consider a couple of B-list guys that I really like. But our favorite C-list celebrities. Now, do we all have to have heard of them if they're C-list? Or probably not. Uh, you. If you've heard of them, though, does that really make them C-list? Or does that at least put a B or A? You no, I, I would say, no, I would say, like, I would say if two of us know them. They count as C-list. Okay, so Alex, Denny, Deke, Smalls. Yeah, and then we can, we can, we can, we can debate. All right. Because I there's there's some names that like. Oh, this is gonna be tough. I think this is gonna yeah. be a good draft though. Uh, Alex, Denny, Deke, Smalls. Cannot take Rick Ross. <laughs> what? Clint Howard. Clint Howard. Who is Clint Howard? Look up a picture of Clint Howard. <laughs> And you'll know Clint Howard. It's Ron Howard. <laughs> he's in a, he's, of, he's in a fuck ton of movies, man. But he's never <laughs> been like anything. <laughs> he's the dad in Blue Mountain State. Yeah. With the daughter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a, he, he's in so many things that it's not even funny. What like, up? He's the best cornerback I've seen since Joe Montana. Joe, Joe Montana. Montana was a quarterback, you idiot. I, I said Joe Montana. <laughs> I've never, ever, ever heard of that guy's name. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Denny. Ron Howard's brother. The famous Redhead director. Who's Ron Howard? He did the na- he was the voice of the narrator on Arrested Development. He's also an intensely famous director who's directed a lot of movies you know. Yeah, his brother is in... Wow. Every movie, but you don't know who he is. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow, what a fucking pig. See, that's a great pig. Yeah. <laughs> um, so would Lindsay Lohan technically be like a C-list celebrity, or is that kind of like... I would say A-list. That's A-list? Yeah, I would say she's A-list. She's been A-list. A-list, and she's a, she's a household name. Uh, fuck. Do, like, not, do not talk shit on Mean Girls, okay? Fair. Uh, yes, he is blood bomb. Shit, 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 shit. I don't even. I'm. I'm just trying to think. Googling. Would He's 50, not typing or anything. Fifty Cent is he technically? No. Uh, for actor? No celebrity. Never mind. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> what do you guys think you about kidding me, Rock dog? Johnson? Definitely C list. Maybe D list. Come on, man. Just like. Low budget, shitty people that kind of you know about or you like forgot like, existed because they don't. You like see it. them on the internet every now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, fuck. Lindsay Lohan is that one. <laughs> <laughs> um. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm trying to think. Hmm. Clint Howard. <laughs> Jeffrey Jones, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Who's Jeffrey Jones? Child molester. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Why do you think you don't see him in movies anymore? Wait, is he really? Yeah, he's a convicted sex offender. That's why I don't see him in movies anymore. He's the principal in, in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay, no, I'm cool with that. We're going with Jeffrey Jones. I think that's a good pick. I didn't realize he was that fucked. It's an interesting pick. Because I... Yeah, I don't. I've never seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off. What? Well, really? have some respect. I didn't lie about it. Okay, right, that's fair. a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Damn, you fair. should. You, you should. So I recommend but, that you should see it. It's a great one. Tell me, yeah, like, Danny, what's your favorite scene? <laughs> he just took the fucking <laughs> prince. What's your favorite scene? <laughs> <laughs> Reenact your favorite scene. I mean, I can tell you my favorite scene involving him, but that's fine. Uh, I'm up. I have one for question. Uh, Rebecca Black. 
Ooh. Easy that easy C list. C list. Okay, yes, cool. Because she's she isn't really a household name, but like that song is, is a household. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. know that she she a bunch of girls in her school did the same thing? Cause she, I think she was out in California or Canada, one of the C ones, and she paid a company that writes your song, produces the song, comes over, does the whole video. She literally had zero part of that song or video she paid a ton of money for her one birthday because that's what this company does they write you the song they shoot the video and everything wow she didn't even write it not know that oh i love it uh smalls you're up for two okay give me a uh, chris mince plus who yep yep chris mince plus Chris Mintz plus he's he's McLovin. Who? What's the plot? Oh, okay, I got you, guys. Yeah, no, that's yes, okay, because I I have no idea that was his name. Yep, I think that uh, he's great, and this is the end. This is the end. Role models. He's also oh, the guy role that role models. <laughs> he's also the guy that does a damn son. Where'd you find this? If you've ever heard that at the beginning of a song, really. Yeah, he's he's the guy that does that. Oh, tell her you miss her whispering eye. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Schneider. I think Rob Schneider. I would say is B list. I was gonna say at least B list. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a really really close one though. The thing mm -hmm. about but... Rob Schneider is though Rob Schneider was a stapler. <laughs> I so, you. Never forget that. Uh, you're off your <laughs> next big smalls. Um. Yeah, eh, fuck it. Give me a, give me Feidelberg over at Barcel. I would say he's C-list. Oh. Barcel's big enough where he's, he's C-list. Okay. I. Interesting. I don't hate it. I think mm -hmm. that like, Dave's unfortunately A-list. Big Cat's A or B-list. Yeah. Oh, just stupid fucking rich. I would say Big Cat's like in the. Their most of their big ones are in the B. I'd say Feidelberg C. I'm cool yeah, with that. Yeah, Fuddleberg is like, he, and he, I think he's one of the funniest ones there. Like, hands down, one of the funniest guys there. Fuddleberg, see the celebrity. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, I'm back up. <clears throat> um, He's only in Adam Sandler movies. He's literally pointless. Rob Schneider, I mean. Not true. The animal. Yeah. Ooh. And bench warmers, man. <laughs> um, Gus Bud. <laughs> Gus Bud. Uh, hot chicks. Or hot chick. Yeah, hot chick. The hot chick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, wasn't he also uh, Deuce Bigelow? Male, yeah, male yeah. Bigelow? Bud Bomb, get out of here with that. That's an <laughs> accusation. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh, is Jimmer for debt? C list. Yeah, I would almost go D-list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll, give, I'll give it to you. I'll and, give it to okay, you. Yeah. I'm going with... I feel like he's close. <laughs> like, you have you've you kind of have kind of heard of him, kind of. Most yeah. People, unless yeah. you know the NBA or Shanghai Sharks. Alex, yeah. you know who that is? I'm looking up a picture of him, and that's a resounding no. He went to BYU, and he was like the greatest college three-point shooter ever. Went to the NBA, did nothing, and he's been playing overseas with the Shanghai Sharks for like ten years. Bro, he, he was wet. He was he was Steph Curry before Steph Curry. Bro, he was wet. He could not miss. Fair. Uh, Denny. Um, you have taken your one pedophile. What is your next? I'm gonna go with athlete. Ooh, give me Brooklyn Beckham. Ooh. Is he the he's, oldest one? Yeah, he's the oldest one. Pretty much, I was like, "Oh, he's the next. He's the next David Beckham. He's the next David Beckham." And meanwhile, he's he's shite. So it's he's garbage. David Beckham's kid. Yeah. And he's just known for being David Beckham's son at this point. Any reservations? No. I think that's a good one. Good with that one. I think him as a human. See. Yeah. The family. Yeah. S. Tier. Way different, yeah. Brooklyn himself, C. Uh, Alex, you have for Chew and Tree. For the first one, give me Luis Guzman. 
Yeah. Why can't I think of that? Just look up a picture of Louise. I am. I am. I, yep. well, I, I want to think about it before. You got he's him. in Yes Man. He's the guy that Jim <laughs> <Yes. Carrey. laughs> Oh, I think he's above C. He's, he, Dude, he's above no, no, C. He's C, for C sure. I would say he's C. Name, though. He is ancillary background yeah. in most things. Like, he's in waiting and everything like that. He's, but in, um, he's a star in waiting. What's, is How it, dare you? Is it our. No, we are the Millers. He's the cop. Yep. <laughs> yeah. A thousand peso, Brian. That's like <laughs> well, seven. Bloodbox yeah. says he's B list. See, I. I think he's C. Is he more famous overseas than he is? He might be. He might be. That's Huge the thing. I think it might be different. Black... <laughs> <They're black. laughs> I'm oh. get John Leguizumo. So Who? Look up again. Look up a picture of John Leguizumo, and you will see John Leguizumo. John what? John Leguizumo. I put Michael Zumo. Leguizumo. <laughs> Leg nope. Leg Zumo? Oh, he's on Hawaii Five O, right? And if you don't recognize, oh shit, that guy! <laughs> <laughs> All these actors, you know who they are, but you don't know who their names are because they're never the main focus of anything. So one of the one of the pictures that popped up is John Leg Zumo. Next to right next to Mark Ruffalo, yeah, they're almost the same dude. <laughs> <laughs> One's a little more famous than the other. Oh, what is his name? Uh, Denny, you're back up. Um, give me Nick Lachey, Rob Schneider. Wow, Nick Lachey <laughs> from the top rope. I that's a tough one. I agree with you, him individually. Yes, it, but that's that's what I mean. Him individually, L A C H E Y. That was it. He's always going to be known as Jessica Simpson's former husband. Well, and the gay one. Yeah, that's that's. I know him as gay. Or is it? Was he gay? No, it was. Uh, yeah, you're thinking of Lance, Lance Bass. Bass was the gay one. Yeah, Nick Lachey was the lead singer of 98 Degrees. <laughs> I loved 98 Degrees, to be honest, and I forgot Nick Lachey was a part of that one. <laughs> I had one of their cassettes. No, he was, he was, he was, yeah. I just, I confused them all. Uh, I'm back up. Um, I, uh, I, I got to Google the dude's name. That's all, see, but hear me out. Give me Dante you, Basco. Dante Basco. Don one of the greatest voice actors. Go look him up if you haven't. He played Rufio in Hook. He voiced... Um, who was the Fire Lord's kid in Avatar? Prince Zuko. He voiced Jake, American Dragon, on Disney Channel. He does something on TikTok now where it's called Residual Check Roulette. And every week he goes through the checks he gets from all the shows he voice acted or old shows and old Disney shows he was on. And he opens one of them and talks about the show. That's kind of cool. That's actually. pretty fucking it's cool, sick. actually. But he's, he's a sick voice actor now. Smalls, do you know him? I don't think so, no. Have you ever seen Hook? No. With oh, Robin no, I Williams. have. I have. He's I have, actually. And then oh. if you've seen Avatar The Last Airbender, he's Prince Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. Big voice actor. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Smalls, you're up for two. All right. So give me Patrick Warburton. That's actually a really... <laughs> Who the fuck is... <laughs> you know him. He's in so much <laughs> shit. Oh, no. no. Oh, he's come so on. C-list. It's so good. I don't know. <laughs> Right, time out. I'm going to argue that Patrick Warburton is at least a B-list celebrity. You think so? Why? Name some of the rules. Um, he was in Step Brothers. He played the voice of Kronk in uh, Emperor's New Groove. He was yeah, Joe, it, the Family just, Guy. Okay, so if we're going that argument, Clint Howard has been in every movie yeah. ever. That doesn't mean that... <laughs> and yeah, and but Luis Clint Guzman. Howard's roles have never been that. Like, Patrick Warburton was Joe from Family Guy. See, I don't, I don't know. Voice actors do not get enough credit, and Patrick Warburton is not a name known for Joe. So that's just a, that's that's a C-list celebrity, just a name you don't know. That's literally no, almost, no, no, because Nick I, Lachey I, is a C-list celebrity. Yeah, I Patrick Warburton is not a B-list celebrity. Is what I'm arguing here. I'd, I'd, I'd argue he's a, he might even be an A-list. Okay, we're done that. Uh, Smalls, you're up for your fourth pick. I loved him in uh, uh, a series of unfortunate events. 
I, I mean, yeah. He was yeah. lovely. Dude, he's good in a, he's good in everything he's in, pretty much. He's fucking incredible. You know what, Smalls? He is good. He's an A-list. You can't take him. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right, whatever. <laughs> Alex is going to take the fucking rock next. The rock's not even a good actor. He just looks at the camera and plays the same role in everything. Character actor. Hey, um, how dare you talk about him like that? Who's Nick Lachey? He's the lead singer of 98 Degrees, Blood Bomb. I think he had one hot single that was out in like the year 20, like 2009 or something. I don't know if Michael Sarah's won Blood Bomb. That sounds about right, Smalls. Michael Sarah, I think he has like a cult following. So I think well, that Arrested him Development is at least yeah, a B. B. Yeah, at least. Yeah. You're going to say that Michael Sarah is a B list celebrity, but Patrick Warburton, you guys. Michael Sarah is by far a more high listed celebrity than Patrick Warburton. At Warburg. this point. 100%. Yes. That's not even debatable. Yeah, that's the. You guys are wrong. Why? Wrong. Why? Just, let's just move on. We're having so, a party. You think Patrick Warburton gets in before Michael Sarah? Yes, I definitely do. No a fucking 100%. shot. There's a 0% chance that happens. No shot. That's 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 fine. He would have to do the voice of Joe to get into the party. That's just his voice. That is just his voice. That is just his voice. However, he does not. However, uh, the amount of times that you would have to be like, oh, that's like you don't know the voice. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. You don't go, who's that guy again? Oh, he was in Superbad with Jonah Hill. No, that's fucking Michael Sarah. Yeah. You look at that guy and I go, oh, that's the dude from the fucking thing. Uh, I say, hey, hey, it's Michael Sarah from This Is The End. See, Blood Bomb, I do not think Michael Sarah is on the same plane as Chris Mintz Plass. No, yeah. I do it, not I fucking do, know I, his I name. I agree with you there, Blood Bomb. I think these guys are fucking nuts. Michael Sarah has been in like four movies. Wait, he's, no. He's wait. Movie. Scott Pilgrim, bro. That was not even a good movie. I'm not saying it was, but it was his own movie. He was These also eyes. like one of the best. He was one of the best things about These him. Eyes never, never felt another love. <laughs> uh, Blood Dude, that move, that Who the fuck so dies on Patrick Warburton's hill? Blood <laughs> Bomb, all you gotta remember is that you know Deke actually thinks Hubie Halloween and has redeemable qualities to it. No, so. I don't. I think it's the best movie ever. There you Way go. Way different. There you go. Small Jeff, your fourth day. Um. Uh, I'm going to go with a stand-up comedian here. Uh, give me Shane Gillis. Which one's that? He's the guy that got fired off of SNL after like working there for four days. Oh, but yeah. But his stand-up is fucking phenomenal. What do he do? Uh, I, I, I guess on tweets? his pod... No, it was on his podcast. He was saying some pretty unsavory things, but like he got canceled, but like his stand-up is fucking phenomenal. I'm, I'm cool with that. He he does a bit about Alabama football being like all they like he's like I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna like recite it but basically he's just like yeah Alabama football was a little late to the party with allowing black guys to play on the team he's like but all you need to win in America and beat racism is just a good old fashioned run it down your throat ball club and is just like the funniest shit I don't know Shane Gillis is great. Um, I'm up next. Well, bomb, get get the fuck out of here. Michael Sarah is a national treasure. Yeah, but awful. He is, he is th- a national There's treasure. awful A-list celebrities. There are a ton. Is okay, but I wouldn't call him. Uh, uh, just all right. Uh, we're, moving, we're moving on. Alex. <laughs> uh, C-list celebrities. I'm up next. Um. All right, I'll, I'll, all right. How about this? Michael Sarah is in This Is the End. That movie. If you're in that movie, you are B or above. Period. Hundred oh, percent. Such a fucking damning statement to your first pick, dude. I think he's right about yeah. like. Yeah, but Chris Mintz class was in This Is the End. Listen, is he? I'm not, yeah, because he does Sarah cocaine needs... in his. He, he Michael Sarah blows cocaine into Chris Mintz class face. <laughs> he does. And he goes, dude, I've never done this oh, drug shit. before. He's a okay, no, very yeah. dust. Have you spoiled on celebrity? I think Michael Sarah is a B-list celebrity. I just don't think Michael Sarah is more famous than Patrick Warburton. <laughs> maybe you, for, maybe for 26 year old end, stoners, yes, but not for the broader audience of Hollywood. Alex. You're wrong. You're just 
You're that, fucking the wrong. thing is, I've never seen someone so confident and so wrong than you right uh, now. It's just listen, I will die on the Patrick Warburton being more famous than Michael Sarah Hill. Why is he more famous? Because he's just been in more stuff in a longer career. That's your yeah, definition but... of famous. No. So Addison like, Ray oh. is not more famous than Patrick Warburton. I don't know who the fuck Madison Ray is. Addison. I don't know who Addison Ray is. She has like 40 million followers on all social media platforms. She's been in Big one movie. Big old booty. I have no idea who that is. But that's is. my point. She's been in one movie, and you said a longer career in more movies makes you more famous. No, that's not Clint Howard would be the most famous motherfucker on the planet. That's what I'm saying. Like, Clint <laughs> Howard has definitely been in more shit than Patrick Warburton, man. Listen, I just, I don't think that you can say that Michael Sarah and Patrick Warburton aren't on the same plane because Michael Sarah doesn't have, they're just, you're wrong. I think there's a recency. That's just a bad take. Maybe it's a recency <laughs> bias, sure, but it's a recency thing for sure. Well, a recency bias is one thing. But, but what fame is 100% recency bias. Are they still famous? That's recency bias. I'm going gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna to disagree, but that's fine. Blood Bomb, go look her up on Instagram. You'll know who she is right away. I don't know who she is either, Blood Bomb. I don't spend any time on social media. Apparently, because you don't know what anybody thinks about Patrick Warburton. <laughs> I don't know by the movies, not by the Twitter. Uh, I think this is C list, so I will leave it up for debate. But uh, he was at one time an NFL quarterback, Devlin Duck Hodges. Ducky. Yes. Okay. Yes. I say D for Devlin. D. D for Devlin. Duck I would Hodges. say no, no. He shot up into the it's C. A, it's a joke. It's a joke. He is a I was C. Say, man. <laughs> He's just... a C because he was a literal NFL quarterback, and most NFL fans know who he is. But if you saw him at a bar, you would have no fucking clue. He was a sensation. Yes. Bro. I agree with that. Um, Denny. Um, hmm. Give Blah, me... Blah, shut the fuck up. I don't know who Patrick Warburton is, but I got to say, he's a B-list celebrity. Huh. That's an international audience. Fuck you and your guys' is closed-minded... American view. Thanks, Blood Bomb. I'm going to Google, is Patrick Warburton more famous than Michael Sarah? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Are we the first people to have this debate? <laughs> it uh, looks like there aren't many great matches for your search. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> hmm, 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 hmm. I've actually been pretty disappointed if you looked that up and there were like a bunch of lists on that. Oh, Dennis, I hate you. Now I know you're Googling. I Googled no, C-list celebrities and all the ones that you had questions about are at the top. Wait, what <laughs> all ones I had questions about? 50 fucking cent is the first one on the <laughs> list. <laughs> no, because that's literally the C-list celebrity, 50 cent. If you look, <sighs> it's probably all of them in fucking alphabetical order by last name. It, yeah, Earth. okay, so I saw that list too, Denny, and it oh, was Oh, so you were looking C-list. small. No, you can't do that. No. You can't do that. <laughs> can't Shane do Gillis that. would not have popped up on fucking uh, C-list Typically list someone who was famous, yet few can remember why they were a perfect example of famous for being famous paradox. Many of these people had a reason at one stage to be famous, but memory of these have long since faded. In older days, the C-list was typically populated by people such as Jordan and Paris Hilton. Now the reality television explosion, the list has grown. C-list celebrities have difficult understanding that they are really not that famous. This leads to amusing incidents where a C-list on being told they can't order the Pizza Hut buffet at 5 p.m. will get angry and say, do you know who I am? Okay. That's Urban Dictionary. I don't think that that's a great one. I don't See, know. if I Michael Sarah walks into a Pizza Hut, they're going to give him the fucking buffet. I'm not even fucking giving him a discount. <laughs> You don't you're know just, the you're just Michael Sarah, better. if you come in a laboratory, I ain't giving you shit. Patrick, I doubt that. If you come in a laboratory, 45% you off. You just can't tell me that Patrick Warburton is more famous than Michael Sarah. Now. I'm not saying more famous. I'm saying he's not less famous. I'm saying that they're on the same level of famous is my so argument. I think Patrick Warburton is more famous than everyone on this list? Just to, to, to set a bar. Um, because I don't think that that's an out, uh, like an outlandish statement. I'm just curious. I would say yes. If you put Patrick Warburton in a so? room with Luis Guzman, which one would you say? Oh my God, that's the guy. First. I mean, me personally, Luis Guzman, but most people. <laughs> <laughs> I have a sick obsession with the movie Waiting. You know, I, I, I fair. The man taught me the testicle game. That's a tough question. 
But I think like the most famous person mentioned so far is Nick Lachey. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll give you that because of 98 degrees. But again, is he a house? Is, does anybody know his name? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. He's one of the few people on this list that I was like, ah, oh, no, that is other than the guys I took. Patrick Warburton is God. I was not reading. Denny, you're oh, for your fourth. All right. Um, How would you feel about Ashley Simpson? I just found that list as well. Oh, really? Well, I'm like. <laughs> Whatever, fuck it. Everything, everything's got to be from a list now. It apparently does. For Your entire sake. draft is from a list. You didn't know Jeffrey Jones was a pedophile. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you took Nick Lachey, and the list that okay. I found literally says he's only known for being married to Jessica Simpson. I fucking hate this game. I hate this show. <laughs> Why am I even here? Blood Bomb. Look up the song Friday. By Rebecca Black. That's who Rebecca Black is. Uh, Alex, you're up for four and five. You're fine, Denny. Just, just a- admit when you're Googling. Okay. So I'm Googling. <laughs> you would have said no there. You're I don't for- know what you're talking about. Four and five, Alex. Let's see. Now I don't even know like what kind of lists are picking here. If Patrick Warburton's on this list, I mean, shit, I might as well put like you know Lawrence of Olivier on here. I mean, Jesus, Joan of Arc, would you say? Maybe I'll just maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, give me. You know what? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna put him on the list. Give me Brett Michaels. That's a good pick. That motherfucker has a famous following around here because he's from here. But Color, yeah. It, really? Even with his reality shows and everything, he is, based on even the description you led, read of a C-list celebrity, I see that son of a bitch going up everywhere being like, do you know who I am? I'm Brent fucking Michaels. I think, talk to me 25 years ago. Talk to someone 25 years ago, different story, but I, I 100% agree I, with you. Now. I think that the one thing, yeah, one thing that was damning in that, Alex, is that you said he's from here, and that's probably why i know that he was the front man of like i know all this he, shit about him he had his own reality tv show right he right. wasn't he all because that's what a lot he of these celebrities was are he rock of love I something think so, like that yeah. and then he had poison and he is a good looking dude okay i For being like a and now, uh, he, and now he plays at the big butler fair yeah he's c-list you're right <laughs> 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 but he would also get mad that Pizza Hut didn't let him get the buffet after five. He definitely would. And they, Pizza Hut and Floyd would be like, I don't know who you are. Sir. Yeah. Brett Michaels was the lead singer of the band Poison Blood Bomb. Talk dirty to me. They were one of those 80s bands that had like a couple okay songs, but we have. definitely have a bigger following because they got a little they got a little big but brett michaels is from the area that we're all from so everybody yes, around yes. here thinks he's god even though outside of the area nobody knows who the hell he is you are up for your fifth and final pick of the night alex i really hope you don't take my pick i probably am not going to because my whole world's thrown upside down since patrick warburton's on this list i'm 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 destroyed I just don't know how yeah, why you're so weird. shocked by that. Yeah, I like just, I, I can't believe it. My God, he was even in Men in Black Three for ten minutes. So it's just like I I can't. He, That's what a C-list like celebrity, celebrity would do, though. You have to look up his name. You're like I recognize that guy, but I don't know his name. You know does what I mean? Does that make I I does so, that make him a celebrity though? What I think at this point, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay, then give me John DiMaggio. Who? That's the voice. That's, that's the voice shit. of Bender and Jake the dog. <laughs> Who the fuck is John DiMaggio? John DiMaggio. I said. I said actor. John. He's a voice actor. Okay, I'm okay with that. He's done a lot of voices oh. that you know. I'm trying to see if he's in anything that isn't voice acting. Like not just dis- no, you know, obviously I love voice. He was in oh, he was in American Dragon too. Um, no, he just voice acting. Nice. No, I think it's a wonderful pick. 
I think he is as famous as Patrick Warburton. I also thought you were taking Joe DiMaggio, and I was really confused. No, not Joe DiMaggio. I was like, he's high up there. Denny, who did you Google for your last pick? So I didn't Google this person. This was brought to my mind whenever Alex brought Brett Michaels up. Uh, give me Donny Iris. Oh. Yep, yep. I'll give you that for sure. Okay. What what was what was he in or like what he was a singer right? Yeah, Don singer Iris for um, what's it called? The Jaggers and. The Wild Cherry? I don't know. Okay. You did a really good job of not looking like you were Googling yeah. in there. <laughs> no, I just know Don. That's a great Don Iris. Don Iris. Because he's from Pittsburgh, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Do we have to take somebody from Pittsburgh? You don't have to. I just knew, like, every time that... What was it? Was it Jurgles? Jurgles or Kretzlers? I don't know. Every time they had like some Jurgles. live show, it was like, it was "Oh, Donny Iris is coming." That's a good pick. You know what I didn't know though? I honestly, until right now, so, you know the song "Love Is Like a Rock." No, that's Donny Iris. Huh? I did not know that. Play that funky music. That that's Donny definitely Iris? not Donny Iris. Wild Cherry. White boy. Play the funky music, White Boy? Dennis, what are you looking at? Because Donny Iris was the lead singer of the band The Cruisers. Hold on. What are you Googling right now? Donny Iris on, it was on the Wikipedias. Donny. That funky music. Is that Iris. White Boys? Yeah, Wild wow, Cherry. My boy. Oh, he was a member of Wild Cherry after <laughs> the group oh, had the number one hit. Play that funky music. After. I don't know where Alex went, but. I think Alex is angry. Heather, wow. Heather, Patrick Warburton is not a fuck. Oh, hey, Alex. Um, Alex, why are you a little red in the face? Me? Yeah. Because Patrick Warburton <laughs> is a Sela celebrity. I don't understand what you. Going into this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> You were like, damn, I would love to take Patrick Warburton, but he's B-list? I think he's a B-list celebrity. <laughs> so if we would have said Michael Sarah is a C-list celebrity, you wouldn't be this upset? No, I would be, because I don't think Michael Sarah is a C-list celebrity either. Okay. I just don't. I just... <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know, Alex. What are you going to do? Uh, I love you. All right. I'm up. <laughs> Close this out. <laughs> um, let's see. I have Rebecca Black, Jim Fred, Dante Basco, Duck Hodges. What about... Is Andy Dick a C-list celebrity? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I was thinking maybe B list, but that was back in the day. That was back in the day. You know? Wasn't Andy Dick on one of the Comedy Central roast? Probably. He's been on like all of them. I know he's, he's on a couple. Fucking Andy Dick. Sucks. And he's, he's in D three. D three football's finest, the greatest football movie ever. Small as you got the last pick, bud. Um, this one's definitely uh def definitely out there, I think. But give me. Yvette, uh, Yvette Cole Brown, Yvette Coleman Brown. I I had to. Oh, Yvette Nicole Brown. That's who it is. She was in Community, and she's Helen from Jake and Drake and Josh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. She's great oh. in both those shows. Oh, Helen. Yeah. What did I know her? She was fun. Yeah, I mean, she was great in Community. Like, she was fantastic, but and she was in an Avengers movie too, but not as like a front person. Blood Bomb. Andy Dick is an actor. Uh, he is. He's he just he's fucking a, Andy Dick. Yeah. He is an actor. He's been in movies. Yeah, no, I, I would say I, I would, I would say he's 
the first word I would describe him as is a comedian over an actor. Really? But okay. I know. It, yeah, but he is an actor. I mean, he's an American I'm comedian, Andy actor, Andy musician, television, and film producer. Is anything Andy Dick does really funny? Division three football. D three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Greatest movie ever. I thought he'd be Halloween was the greatest movie ever. Yeah. <laughs> what about it? All right, Alex, why don't you tell us about our wonderful sponsors as we shut the show down? Laboratories probably pulling their sponsorship after tonight. Um, <laughs> We're strictly going to sponsor Patrick Warburton. <laughs> yeah, strictly due to uh, because they're going to really piss me off about not having Patrick Warburton as a real celebrity. But um, no, see, uh, the laboratory sucks. Don't go there. Okay, Smalls, why don't you tell us about Course VGH? <laughs> Uh, shout out Coors PGH, the most wonderful beer in the world. Appreciate you guys, uh, hopping on the TFTB train. Um, and we look forward to, uh, more stuff with you guys in the future. I don't really know what else to say. And Denny, so. tell us where we are doing the show at. Uh, Union Fitness, um, studios, great place. Uh, really got to come down here, check it out in the North Shore of Pittsburgh, a um, bunch of different classes based around fitness, yoga, strength, and performance training. Uh, really great place and awesome sponsors for us here to have our studio location. And shout out to, by the way, said coffee. Buy coffee. Gentlemen. Best coffee in the Berg. Best coffee in the Berg. Uh, our next show will be in 2022. It will be on the 3rd. Um, this is our last show of the year. Yep. We did it. We did it. Hell of a year, boys. I mean, how long this show has only been How long have we been doing this show for? Like Too long. Okay. <laughs> Patrick Warburton <laughs> ass. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, check out Ranking Score tomorrow for the last Ranking Score of the year. Wednesday, we are recording. Yes. Okay. We are. Just wanted to check. So it means Thursday morning we'll have our last episode of All Purpose. Will, will it be the last? Yeah, last last, last episode. Yeah. When's, when's the championship game? If we have one, so that's why okay. I'm going to say last. Oh, until you think we know the world's going to sure. close? I, dude, all these bowls are getting pulled right now. So wait, what? You know, Every bowl game yeah, got canceled. Jesus. Christ. Thursday morning, All Purpose Garbage. Thursday night, two beers deep, and it'll be the last show until Monday. Uh, the Sunday show will not happen once again. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching Blood Bomb. You are the man. Uh, we will see you guys and Patrick Warburton later. Yes, you will. And lots of great movies.